Hello my dear Vidyanj Lights. Welcome back to our English class. We have successfully finished lesson 1, lesson 2, poem 1, poem 2. Now, we have to enter into a new lesson. Okay, shall we? Yes. Before that, do you like fruits? Yes, I like fruits. What are your favorite fruits? List them. Apples, banana, goa, pineapple, etc. Right? There is a story about apples and apple pie. Shall we know that? Yes. Before that, there is a puzzle. Shall we solve the puzzle? Yes. Open your English textbooks. Let's solve the puzzle and then we'll move to lesson. Okay, students. Some hints are given here. Let's solve the puzzle. Use the clues to complete this crossword. The clues describe different kinds of fruit. Page number 28. Okay. Across means horizontal and down means like this. Okay. Vertical. Shall we? Yes. Now across first one. Has a prickly outer covering with yellow fruit inside. And the clue is this one. What is that? Pineapple. Very good. P-I-N-E-A-P-P-L-E. Pineapple. Okay. Yes. Now, let's see across three. Small and round. This fruit can be green or purple. Across three. Small and round. This fruit... Can be green or purple. What is that? Grapes. Next. Across four again. Where is that? This one. If you eat this fruit every day, it will keep the doctor away. What is that? Apple. Okay. Now, down. Yellow when ripe, this sweet fruit is... Uh, loved by monkeys. What is that? Banana. Yes. Green and round. This fruit has many tiny seeds in the center. Tiny means small seeds. Small. What is that? Goa. Is it clear? Is the puzzle clear? Yes. Now let's move to this. Unscramble the names of some more fruits given in the slice of the watermelon. Write them on the blanks. G-O-N-M-A. What is that? Mango. Very good. R-E-O-N-E-G. What is that? Orange. Very good. E-A-R-P. Pear. E R R Y C H Cherry. What is this? A P A P Y A. Papaya. Is it clear? Yes. Let's move on to our lesson. Yes. Now let's see what's the story. Some apples, please. There is a saying that where there is a will, there is a way. That means. If you have the strong desire and if you work hard, surely you can achieve that uh, desire, you can fulfill that dream. Okay, let's see what's the story now. There used to live an old woman. She wanted to eat an apple pie, but she had only plums. Then she thought of, how can I make a Apple pie. An apple pie with these plums. No, I can't. But she did not lose the hope. She took off those plums in a basket and she kept on moving. Then she found a young lady. There was a lot of cackling sound, hacking sound. Then she talked to the young woman. What are these of? Then she said, these are my pets. Then she said that, I have some plums with me. I will give those plums to you. Can you give me apples? Then she said, actually, my husband...
husband wanted to eat plum pie. But I don't have plums. Can you give me plums? But in exchange, I don't have apples. I can give you feathers. Then she thought of, okay, instead of those uh, plums, which are in heavy weight, I can carry these feathers. Then she thought of and she gave plums and she thought of, okay, at least my wish I could not serve, but he can uh, have his wish. He thought, she thought of and she gave those plums to the young women. The young women took off plums and she gave feathers in return. Okay, then she went, she keep on moving and she found a couple, wife and husband quarreling for one thing. What is that? Yes, the wife is saying that to stuff a pillow, a uh, straw is better. Then husband was saying cotton is better to stuff a pillow. Both were quarreling. Then this lady went off and there was a delicious flavor from the kitchen of that farmhouse where the couple were. Then she thought of and she went there. Then the both uh, couple asked her, Madam, which is better to stuff the pillow? Then she said, it's better to have the feathers in the pillow, but not straw or this cotton. She said, and they both uh, th thought of, uh, oh, what a nice idea. Then she felt, okay, I, do not, I did not get any apples in exchange, but I saw the quarrel among those people. Between those two people, she thought of, she gave the feathers to them. In exchange, they gave delicious bread. She took off that bread and she kept on moving. She moved on, moved on. Then she saw a family, a poor family. They were very sad. Then she asked, what's the matter? Then the family said, actually, me and my children, my children and I had not eaten anything from morning. Can you please help me? She asked. Then the old woman had bread, no? She gave off that bread to that family and she felt happy. At least, okay, my wish is not served yet, but I served the people. Yes, I felt happy and she, in exchange, that poor lady gave off a puppy to her and she kept that puppy in the basket and she went off. She was again moving on, moving on. Then she found a person uh, sat in a lonely way. He was very sad. But there was an apple tree which is full of apples. Then she went there and she said, What a delicious tree. How many apples are there? You are so lucky. You can make an apple pie and eat every day. Right? She asked. Then he said, What for? I don't want any apple pie. I don't have any person to share my feelings. He felt very bad. Then she said, Okay, I have a puppy in my basket. I'll give you that puppy and it can give you a good company. In exchange, you can give me some apples, she said. Then immediately, she kept the basket like this and the puppy jumped from uh, the basket to that old man. And... He felt very happy. I found a company to share my feelings, he felt. And he, he said, how many apples you want? You can, those, you can take those many apples. She said, he said, then she took off all the apples, whichever needed, how many uh, ever she needed. She took off those apples and kept in the basket. And she happily went, made an apple pie and ate. Students, what did you understand from this? She had a desire and she fulfilled that desire in the good way. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, even in the hard time she did not lose her hope and she went on sa uh, saving the people. She uh, solved many quarrels and all. Right? In such a good way, if you keep on going and solve the problem, surely you can fulfill your desire. There is an animated video for you. Watch the video and enjoy. Some apples please. This happened a very long time ago in England.
There was a little old woman who lived in a little cottage in a village. One day, she wanted to eat an apple pie. The more she thought about it, the more she wanted to eat an apple pie made of juicy red apples. But she had no apples. She had a pear tree full of ripe yellow pears and a plum tree full of juicy red plums. But how can one make an apple pie with pears or plums? And the old woman longed for an apple pie. I know what to do. I'll take some of my plums to the market and get apples in exchange for them. She said to herself. So she set off with the plums in a basket on her arm. As she walked along the road, she heard a lot of cackling and quacking. She peeped over the hedge and saw a young woman trying to herd a flock of hens, ducks and geese. The young woman looked up. Hello, she said. Aren't these birds noisy? Then the young woman and the old woman started talking like old friends. The old woman showed the young woman the plums and said how much she wanted to eat an apple pie. Oh, said the young woman. My husband wants to have plum jam and I have no plums at all on the farm. I would love some, but I have no apples to give you. I can only give you a bag of feathers in exchange for them. Well, said the old woman looking at the juicy red plums. I suppose at least one of us will have our wish. So she gave the plums to the young woman and took the bag of feathers and put it into her basket. At least the feathers were lighter to carry. She set off once more for the market, hoping that she would get some apples for the feathers. The road was long and she walked until she came to another farm. The most delicious smells came floating out of the kitchen window of the farmhouse. The old woman stopped at the gate to smell the fresh bread and cakes. As she stood there, she heard a man and a woman quarrelling loudly. It is best to stuff a pillow with straw, said the woman in an angry voice. I don't think so. Cotton is best. Isn't it much softer? said the man in an angrier voice. Hello, said the old woman. The woman and the man turned to look at her. Oh, would you please help us settle this? Is it better to stuff a pillow with straw or cotton? We can't agree, said the woman. Oh, neither, said the old woman. I would stuff it with feathers. Feathers make the best pillows. Oh, but, but we, we don't, don't have, have feathers, feathers, said the couple sadly. That is hardly a problem, answered the old woman quickly, and she gave the bag of feathers to them. Oh, thank you, said the couple. I would love to have some apples in return, said the old woman. We have no apples, but here is some freshly baked bread said the man and gave her two large loaves fresh from the oven. Well, at least I can have bread and soup for dinner, said the old woman. Even if I didn't get any apples, I did stop the quarrel. Once again, she came onto the main road and headed for the market. She came to a cottage and there she saw a mother and her children in front of the cottage door. They looked very sad. What's the matter? asked the old woman. Why are you so sad on such a bright and lovely day? My children have not eaten all day and there is no money for food, said the mother. How can I keep this bread when they are all so hungry, thought the old woman. She took out the two fresh loaves and gave them to the mother. How kind of you. I am sorry that we have nothing to give you in return. But maybe you would like this little puppy. He would be a wonderful companion for you, the mother said. The old woman wasn't so sure that she wanted the puppy, but she did not want to say no to the mother. So she picked up the puppy, put him into the basket and thanked the mother. Then she started off again. What an odd and funny day it has been, thought the old woman as she walked along. Who knows, I might still get my apples. Then, as she turned a corner, she saw an apple tree full of ripe red apples in the garden of a cottage very much like her own. An old man sat outside. 
What a beautiful apple tree! exclaimed the old woman. You can make such a nice apple pie with those apples. Hmm, replied the old man sadly. Of what use is an apple tree or apples to a lonely old man like me? Well, I think I know the answer to that. Would you like this little doggy in return for a basket of apples from your tree? He would be good company, said the old woman, and she let the puppy out of her basket. The puppy ran to the old man and started rolling about his feet. The man smiled and picked the puppy up in his arms. And that's how the old woman got apples for the plums she had taken from her tree. She went home, baked a lovely apple pie, and enjoyed it for dinner. So, students, did you enjoy the class today? Did you enjoy the video? Yes. So, let's have a good desire and let's solve the, uh, let's fulfill our dreams in the good way, like the old women. That's what we learned today, right? Will you follow that? Yes, let's follow and be happy in our lives. That's for today. Bye-bye.